amazing. So we are now here at the little corner of some very unique artwork. Um, nothing that you really ever see anywhere else. Uh, it is... Um, morning. Morning. Basically. Morning, Julius. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> now that's, that's Mr. Julius. He's the president of ZSK. Um, but here we are with uh, some very uh, talented artisans uh, that create artwork, paintings, uh, embroidery and paintings is what we call them. Now I'm probably going to butcher the name of uh, these gentlemen, so I'll let them introduce themselves. But let's walk in and you can start to see some of the beautiful artwork. Good morning. Good morning. That was so this, our friend Mr. Neiman, who's one of the uh, main engineers at ZSK. One of the most wonderful technicians. I mean, there's a lot of wonderful technicians. And I should, I think I say that about all of our technicians. Uh, but with ZSK, he's, uh, he's been here for a very long time. And is very, um, has got a very rich history in, uh, in ZSK. And he, we've been lucky enough to host him. Uh, as well as visit some of, uh, with us, as well as some of our customers. Uh, let's ZS get back. <laughs> yep, and ZSK, it's just, it's a really unique, as everybody, um, it would be so great to be able to really, truly really represent, although it's difficult to do it through a video, of exactly what kind of a family ZSK really is. I mean, everyone here has very long history in embroidery, very, very proud of what they do. Um, it's, a, it's a unique kind of... Uh, it's a family feeling. Absolutely. It's a 100% family feeling. Uh, so we're going to walk through. Um, Can you have one of the other ZSK distributors? I mean, I, I, I don't even know how to describe the, the, the paintings here. Uh, and this is just a taste. And these are small ones compared to what uh, they usually do. Um, let's go ahead and uh, turn around, Nick, and show them. Hi, my name is Jure, uh, I'm from the company Erzigoi, and I'm the lead puncher there. Uh, what we do is embroidered art, which you can obviously see. Uh, every picture takes a very long time to produce, several weeks usually. And several colors. <laughs> uh, several colors. Uh, for example, this one here is a very small piece but it contains uh, 170 different shades of reds. And, and how long would it take you from beginning to end to do a piece of this size and of this caliber? Uh, this is about a month more. A month more? Yeah. Uh, on one piece? One piece, yeah. One piece. Um, these are not actually unique. We made them as a limited edition series. Uh, we do create a lot of unique art, just one piece, but uh, we've switched to limited edition series, especially for smaller pieces because they can be, let's say, relatively easy re reproduced. <laughs> relatively. relatively easy. Yeah. It's all relative, right? It's all relative. <laughs> can you tell us the story behind any of these? Uh... Yeah, um, this is actually, uh, this triptych is uh, based on a story uh, on a real story from Moscow where dogs, stray dogs, would every day take the morning metro to the city center where they would search for food and then in the evening they would take the same metro back to the suburbs with, where they would sleep. A real story. This is real. This is actually happening in Moscow even today. Unbelievable. Uh, because the city would uh, build over the old landfills where these stray dogs would uh, find food and now they have to, they have to adapt. Yes. 
loud. And a lot of times the stray dogs are actually uh, purebred. Really? Uh, they're purebred and then discarded by the owners because the owners don't want them anymore, don't want to take care of them. Uh, so you've got uh, purebred like a chihuahua or the huskies uh, or the Afghans and so on. What cool subject matter. I mean, that was a yeah. really, really great uh, story to choose. I mean, not only beautiful work, but just a dramatic story yeah. as well. Uh, the funny thing is, the artist always chooses this, these kind of stories, and then, uh, because he always does animals, mm -hmm. uh, and he paints them in a, let's say, a more illustrative manner, more cute, cuddly, nice, colorful, and so on. Mm -hmm. But the stories behind their, uh, the paintings are actually very deep, very meaningful, yeah. uh, maybe even tragic in a way. So it works on many levels. It attracts you with uh, how nice it is, how nice it looks. Yes. But then when you delve into the story, you really start feeling the connection. And, and a lot of your work is based on different stories. Yeah, um, especially uh, the ones with, that we do with painters, with other artists, uh, because they choose the motif, they choose the story uh, together with us. So it's a very interesting process to collaborate with them. Some of these portraits are just—I mean, I have I have goosebumps, you know looking at these, these portraits. Um, it's always easy to make good embroidery from a good motif, I think. Uh, so we collaborate with Steve McCurry, who's a very famous American photographer. And his photographs are just always amazing. This particular one is actually by a Dutch photographer, uh, but it also really speaks on many levels. It's amazing, even the background is, you know, even though it just seems just simple white, the texture and depth that you get from the embroidery is, is the just The background is actually chenille. Is it really? Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. We chose it because it gives a little bit of a contrast uh, between chenille a background and uh, uh, our art embroidery on top, which is all shaded and color transitions and so on. I'm not sure, but I think over 70. 70? Yeah. Wow. I mean, even down here, all the shading and, and just the darker areas, it's amazing. A lot of these embroideries have a really interesting effect uh, because uh, the embroidery threads are three-dimensional. So they pick up the light from any light source, and then they reflect that light towards you. Right. Uh, but it depends on the direction of the stitch. So if you walk past the picture, the picture starts changing because uh, you pick up the light from different directions and you get different light bounces. Wow. But, uh, this is, uh, wow. Look Very at the dramatic. On that. Look, at the, look at the difference so, in colors. It's just so. The fire in the royal field.
this one is a good example of how uh, even with a very limited number of colors, because it's all only black and white, you can create a really dramatic effect of color transitions and shading. You would swear from like just a couple of feet away that it, it really was a photograph. I mean, and then when you get in closer to it, you get to really see it come alive with all the texture. Yeah. It's Let amazingly it. hard to uh, make this look really good online. Yeah. Because no photo will do this justice. If you see it, you see it live, it's a completely different experience. So in two years, everyone that's watching the video can come back to the CSK open house and see the stuff for yourself, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Come back and we'll probably bring a lot of new materials. Well, and, and one thing too, um, maybe you could explain uh, about what we're doing, or CSK and these guys are doing for the charities uh, at, the, at the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, with together with ZSK, we uh, created a special, let's say, charity event where uh, our art pieces are being uh, made on ZSK machines. And, and anyone who donates for the charity, uh, which ZSK has picked, uh, will be included in the raffle to actually win. And this piece, design has uh, 72 different colors, so we had to split the design wow. in three parts, so it would be able to work. suitable for embroidery because um, of the, let's say, embroidery is, is, embroidered are this best viewed from a little further away because the resolution isn't superb. Yeah, you, you do have some like uh, Van Gogh over there and yeah. some so this is our old master's collection, uh, where we take pieces of long dead painters and create them in The Van Gogh is maybe especially uh, interesting because here we try to simulate the brush strokes uh, by using stitch directions that go that follow the brush strokes actually. So you get the idea of how the painter actually worked by looking at how we work with the embroidery. Wow. How long did this one take to run at this type of size? Uh, just run time on the machine is about a week and a half. Oh my god. I think. <laughs> Production time, development time from scratch to finish, including the testing and so on, is about a month. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Go around inside here. Uh, so this this is actually one of the first pieces that we ever did uh, in embroidered art. Um, and it contains about 7 million stitches. 7 million? Yeah. 
I mean, it, this, this looks like hair. It looks... The like hair was particularly, particularly tricky because it had to be punched by hand, stitch by stitch. Because there is absolutely no punching software that could do something like this in a direct calculation. Look at the look at the contours of following the fabric. I mean, that's I, gosh. Uh, <laughs> Again, I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> creating embroidery of this size is uh, very tricky because of the material stretching. Uh, because as any embroiderer knows, every stitch pulls the material slightly together. Now multiply this by several million stitches uh, and you get material shrinkage of several centimeters. Let's say an inch or even two inches. And because there is no machine that can do this kind of embroidery in one piece, um, you have to compensate for the stretch for each individual piece that you do, so you get a seamless single piece of embroidery in the end. Absolutely astounding. So how long has this company uh, been producing and developing this artwork? Um, the company exists since 1923. So over nine decades now and we've been creating uh, unique embroidered art from the beginning. Um, in the beginning we were more focused on embroidered flags for different societies like um, firemen or hunters, mm -hmm. um, even the military. So we were used to making very large designs in just one piece, just unique. So for us it was an easy transition from that to real art. And we've been creating actual art for let's say about 15 years now. I, I need to have you stand next to it just so that everybody can get a perspective of exactly how large this really is. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. That's great. That is really... And, and that's one of my favorite uh, as well. This is also by Steve McCurry. Um, he's very famous for the Afghan girl photo uh, from National Geographic. Um, but this one is very similar in feel. The, the eyes are just incredible. Skin color is, I think, the most tricky part of any um, color palette for embroidery threads because you just can't get the precise color in embroidery threads that skin is made, uh, that, uh, so you can make actual skin color. You so can't you, mix thread like you can mix paint, like, you know? You can to a degree, <laughs> but you're still limited uh, because can make maybe mix one or two layers before it gets too thick. Um, when you want to then do color transition from light color to dark color, then you see how limited the color palette really is. You can have a color palette of let's say 500 different shades, but it's not enough. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, I mean, this, again, uh, thank you so much for your time. And, thank you. Uh, we're going to have an unveiling of something very unique from your company, yes? Yeah, the latest project, uh, the largest project, which took about two years to finish. Okay, let's say six months uh, of continuous work will be unveiled for the first time here at the ZSK Open House Exhibition. Uh, and I think it will be a very interesting audio-visual experience. Oh, wonderful. You gave us a little... <laughs> I'm so excited. 
so excited. I don't Little even know teaser, what to say. It's, it's going to be happening here in just a few minutes. Actually, it's supposed to happen right now. Okay. So well, let's walk over. We better All right. run. All right. Thank you. Thank you. any of the shows in the U.S., we actually have this piece on display that we bring. And again, I, I believe these pieces are limited editions uh, of what they produce. A lot of it is based on the stories, uh, a lot of the folklore uh, of, of the different cultures. So this is the one that's actually being produced on the ZSK Racer 1XL 24 needle machine, utilizing that massive 700 by 700 millimeter sewing field or roughly 27 inches um, workspace. It isn't this perfect, it's called the embroiderers. Here, the unveiling. You have to teach me how to do this. 
Okay, of course. Yeah. Ten euro. Ten euro. <laughs> Same as in previous open houses, we have the big pleasure to have Erzigoy joining us again. Wir haben die große Freude, dass Erzigoy uns wieder unterstützt auf unserer Hausmesse und auch wieder für dieses Jahr über die letzten zwei Jahre. Die Idee ist nach der letzten Hausmesse, wo es auf der letzten Hausmesse am Ende der Hausmesse gezeigt ist. Erzigoy hat zwei Jahre an dem Werk gearbeitet, was wir uns präsentieren werden. So after the last open house, Erzigoy showed us their idea, what they want to show for this open house. They have worked for the last two years on the project that they want to release here. And we want to say thank you for being part for many times now to our open house. So something to remember your time. Thank you very much for always joining us. One more thing that's very important. We have started this at the text process about two years ago. We have with a project for two years on the text process in Frankfurt gestartet. Wir haben einen Artikel, wir haben ein Kundenmagazin vorbereitet, die Messe heißt Karl. Das finden Sie da vorne auf dem Ausstellung. We prepared a customer magazine going by the name of Karl. You find it over there. There's a four-page article about the project that we do here called Gardening the Future. We are always looking for projects somewhere close to where we are with shows, where we can support projects of children in need. This time we chose the organization called Strups here in Krefeld that supports children that are born at a far too young age or born with disabilities where the parents can't support their children. Wir haben ähnlich wie in Frankfurt damals wieder eine Organisation ausgewählt, die Kinder in Not unterstützt, in diesem Fall die Organisation Stubbs in Krefeld, die Familien mit deutlich zu früh geborenen Kindern oder Kindern mit Behinderung unterstützt. Wir sammeln dafür an den beiden Messetagen wieder Geld und Visitenkarten. Das gleiche System wie in Frankfurt am Ende der Messe morgen live wird ein Gewinner gezogen. Wir werden hier zwei Kunstwerke sticken. Eins geht an die Organisation und eins geht an den Gewinner und das Geld geht natürlich an die Organisation. So the way how it's going to work is that we'll be collecting donations over the next two days with business cards. We are running here two designs. Both are going to be framed after the show. We're going to draw one lucky winner tomorrow at the end of the show while anyone who's here is live and sees who we're going to pull out. One of the words is going to go to the organization. One of the words is going to go um, to the winner. And now it's your show. Thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy. There's a speaker. Another one. Uh, I see some a little sneak. <gasps> what? It's a yeah. bear, like a DJ bear, yeah. all in word around. <gasps> Whoa. There's a turntable.
done here and the music that you're listening to just to explain what they have worked on. This embroidery has around 9 million 500,000 stitches. Dieses Bild hat 9 million stitches. The cupboard has around 2 million 500,000 stitches. And there is also special this dust cover on the speakers. One million stitches, and it's all only pure embroidery. There is no basic material. Okay. Oh my gosh. There are about um, 60 different colors. We haven't made the final count, but there are about 60 different colors black, brown, red, and blue, and also uh, a very large palette of gold. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. The music itself was especially written for this project. Uh, and the musician came to our company uh, and, he, and he actually recorded sounds from embroidery machines. So within this music are actually sounds from our ZSK Eraser 1 XL machine. Die Musik wurde aufgenommen bei Ergie Gold vor Ort und im Hintergrund in der Musik hört man auch die Geräusche einer Racer 1 XL vor Ort bei Ergie Gold. Thank you very much. The music are derived from the embroidery machine and it's all integrated together. I mean, what a cool concept. What a cool thing. The story behind the actual motif. Um, the painter chose a very, let's say, tragic story, the dancing bears. The actual painting looks very happy, it looks very festive, uh, but the story behind it is a little sadder, because um, in former Soviet Union, they used to have traveling circuses with bears that would dance on hot plates. Um, it was basically animal torture and after the Soviet Union fell apart and a lot of animal rights movements started forming uh, they released those bears into the wild after some decades uh, scientists went into the forests and they found those same bears in those forests dancing spontaneously so this is their story to see it live uh, with us it's awesome 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 let's let's we'll have to take a break because I'm speechless right now so we're gonna come back when we start into the next section um, uh, a regular order. <laughs> right gonna get into some of the new tech and some of the other amazing things that you'll see here at the ZSK open house